Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together, this was fast, what's coming through for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you. Uh, healing Heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Bottom of the deck. We have hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Let's also pull some cards from this Oracle deck. Angelic protection and bottom of the deck. Clear, cancel and release. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready. Yes, three cards. So your energies, guys, the Hierophant, Four of Swords, Hanged Man. Your person's energies, Queen of Swords, the Moon, Eight of Wands, Meeting Energies, Two of Swords, Five of Wands, High Priestess, Focus, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck. Divine Timing at play, Patience also. There can be a conversation, guys, about love with what I would define as a former partner. They want to talk with you guys. The moon, the moon is bothering me a little bit because it can be about something that is not clear. A veil of illusion. This person seems willing to open up in a clear way about something that can be important the point is that you may not be available to listen or to interact in an active way because the a priestess is about silence the five of wands can be about confusion people keep talking they can say what they like always quoting one of the alicia keys songs there is silence for some of you with the four of swords the core of the matter can be the hierophant energy let's say partnerships built in a stable way the hanged man is an uncomfortable position with a higher purpose in order to achieve clarity there is a crossroads involved and it can be a fated one another energy of communication page of swords uh, Yes, the feeling is about some of you that can perceive this person as one that is playing cards. The Ace of Cups is beautiful, guys, on an energy level. Um, we can uh, absolutely agree, but this is the topic, allow me to say. Um, an opportunity in love but this one is not a new person and there is history and it's here in the moon something that was not clear let's find out a little bit more 
let's see for you hierophant ace of wands a spark of passion well considering the eight of wands cupid's arrows arrows of love it can be this person can play the passion card but some of you may question the token is it uh, just a matter of desire can we build a hierophant partnership on a token that is driven just by pleasure this can be the object of the evaluation hanged man related let's see the four of swords because we are not talking with the four of swords the two of swords and the eight priestess five of pentacles lacking communication feeling left out in the cold in this case textbook meaning lacking solid foundations even narrow-minded vision of life and if it is a token based on passion desire and attraction um, some of you may evaluate that um, the token is not enough let's see the hanged man an energy that cannot be rushed just like the wheel of fortune tower final call as soon as the hanged man achieves clarity is free from the uncomfortable position so we make a choice that can be intuitively guided and the tower can be the crumbling down of this interaction clear cancel and release we are lacking solid foundations um, this person is offering something that is um, built on shaky grounds basically let's see the queen of swords can be a beautiful energy when it comes to communication truthful precise uh, brilliant even death card they know that after the conversation there can be a revolution this can be a make it or break it let's see the moon guys let's keep also this jumper nine of cups and the jumper nine of swords this person knows that something was not clear within the connection with some of you it is a source of anxiety but they are hoping for a positive outcome nine of cups they are willing to come clean but the death card can be something that happens after the conversation let's see the eight of wands three of swords this can be a heartbreak heartache the conversation can be about a previous disappointment it can be about uh, lies in this case considering the moon no wonder that some of you are not open you are not available and also no wonder that you can perceive this person uh, asking for chances to uh, talk with you as something that is driven just by desire let's see the meeting guys the two of swords as the moon in the background so it is a uh, a meaningful factor knight of cups there is a romantic gesture absolutely it can be an apology it can be something uh, in order to convince some of you guys to open up let's see the five of wands if there is confusion we cannot think things straight that's why the a priestess is crucial three of cups this can be a matter of interferences from the outside third party scenarios if that's the case um, for this person is an uphill climb 
when it comes to the opportunity to be with uh, some of you guys once again. Let's see the High Priestess. Silence, intuition. Ten of Cups. If the High Priestess perceives that it is not possible to move towards Ten of Cups energy, which can go also with the Hierophant, for some of you, uh, it's a no-go for this person. And that's why the tower. King of Pentacles, uh, bottom of the smaller deck, an energy about commitment, also an energy about solid foundations, and... This is a former partner, someone that some of you uh, were dealing with, some of you were together, something didn't work. They know that they can try to come clean, but they know that this is an uphill climb and they know that they are facing a revolution because the tower can crumble down for good. Clear, cancel, and release. The Ten of Cups can be, guys, the energy that you are trying to manifest, but this person doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem the one that can join forces. Improving health wanted to come out. So, guys, some more Oracle cards for guidance, considering these energies. Uh, yes, the situation doesn't seem healthy with this person. Um, the Four of Swords can be about healing after all, and compromise shows up at the bottom of the deck. Well, this person can definitely ask for a compromise. Let's work together, I love you so much. Uh, if there was a mistake, uh, forgive me, but there is something that is missing in this flow of energies, and you will have to pay a lot of attention if this scenario speaks to you. Uh, Hand of Cards is a meaningful set of keywords. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. This person can play some cards in order to see your reaction. But if they are trying to regain points, it is an uphill climb. And to be honest, considering these energies, you are kind of out of reach four of swords quiet energy silence five of pentacles um, the connection the communication went cold we are not talking the interaction is uh, on standby the hanged man is another standby i need to think the same can be said about the eight priestess the two of swords another quiet energy uh, we are not talking and if we talk, there is confusion about interferences. This person knows that. They can try, but this tower can be even a realization, guys. Divine Bolt. Uh, it can be a haha -ha moment. Big revelation about this interaction. And then there can be freedom from... A situation that was not working basically and the ace of cups can be healing as a starting point and moving forward new opportunities more healthy so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye